Hey everyone, Patrick here, Nowhere to Go Show with a brand new Lurkana opening. Actually, the new Rise of the Floodborne set just released to local game stores today. I say that also released in Disney Springs in Disney World today. The lines I saw were crazy. I was able to pick up a Lumineers Trove, a starter deck with the Amethyst and Steel type, Merlin and Tiana, and then 12 additional packs. So should have, I believe, 20 packs, eight, tw 21 packs. So lucky 21, maybe we can pull an Enchanted out of it. I honestly haven't seen too many of the sets. I did see a leak of one of the Enchanted was a Beast. Super excited, I would love to pull that one. Uh, I did hear there is a Cinderella one too, which of course would be great. I'm gonna open this first, because I never got a chance to open up a starter deck on the, the first chapter. So I'm excited for it because you do get if you don't know, I started a deck with 60 cards. So you can go ahead and play with it, which is great, including two foil cards. I presume are those two. Do you get 11 damage counters? A paper play map, which is kind of cool. Hence why I'm still using a Pokemon. And a tracker token. Uh, my local game store only got four total game mats, two of each. There was two of the Beast one and two of the Winnie the Pooh. I would love the Winnie the Pooh, and I would love to get that one, but I was like 10th in line, so missed out on it. So... Um, better luck next time, right? I missed the Steamboat Willie the first time, too. But I was lucky enough to get that one booster box. I'm hoping the same. They didn't get any boosters, booster boxes uh, today. They usually get it as a later. There's the single pack. I'm assuming these are the, yep, the paper mat. The counters. Well, that's pretty cool, so they just pop right out. That way you can get right into the game. Quick start rules. Of course, if you don't know, you can download the companion app. It does a really good job of kind of really breaking down explaining. Let me see this deck. That is an interesting way of wrapping the deck. Uh, it's not in plastic, but instead it looks like bubblegum, old bubblegum wrapper. Uh, but I will still have a look at it. Let's just, I think not all of the deck will be from first chapter. I'm sorry, from Rise of the Floodborne. Some will be from the, the first chapter, so... There's the two foils right up front. Really nice. Um, a Merlin shapeshifter, as well as that Tiana celebrating princess. And then just an, a full 60 card deck. Yeah, that's a new cool. Oh, I love that Hey Hey art. Uh, to get you started, you can immediately go in and start playing with this pre built deck. I'll look through this later. I'm sure we'll pull most of this through our openings today. That's such a cool Hey Hey. <laughs> so I will put. Uh, these predominant to the side. And, you know, last time I did it, I did put them kind of um, by rarity. So this is a rare, the Merlin, and that is a super rare. Uh, and you can know what set it is by English 2. English 1, of course, to be set. So they, they keep it pretty simple with that. So I'll go ahead and open just this single pack and see if we get anything from the... Starter deck. It's cool they put one pack in there. They definitely didn't need to. So that's a good bang for your buck, especially if you just want to hop right in and start playing. Oh, so actually, I didn't get to see what the new one is. So we'll keep four. And I'm excited to see these. So we got Sneezy in this one. So maybe we'll have the dwarves. Jiminy Cricket is in this set. Bound. Nice. Yeah, so they do have a lot of Verana. They have a lot of, um, as you can see, Ray and the Last Dragon. In this one, Cruella de Vil, love that one. There's that last cannon. Four dozen eggs, so you get actually song. Snow White, Uncommon. So let's keep the Uncommons together, like we did in the last time. Blue Fairy Uncommon, that's a beautiful card. First rare will be a Maurice's Workshop. Then we got a Super Rare with the Queen Disguise. And then a Holographic um, Winnie the Pooh, I'm stuck. Very cute. And we actually get a few Pooh in this set. And that's going to be really nice. Let's keep these. Let me keep these all together. That way when I organize it later. I actually got a binder for the first set today. Almost from one booster box and I think it was six single packs. I was able to almost get a full set. I'm not counting Enchantment. I only got the one Genie which was really nice. But we're gonna go through these 12 single packs and then we'll go into the treasure trove. So Donald Duck, Sleepwalker, that's a nice card, it's common. Basil, oh, I love Great Mouse Detective, Hold Still. 
Love Bell. We got Elsa back in set number two. Tigger. Ooh, Beast. That's kind of like what the play mat looks like. It was so cool looking. Judy Hop. So we got some Zootopia in set number two is our first uncommon here. Rhea. Warrior. Ooh, Jafar Dreadnought. Ooh, Strength of Raging Fire. That's a wonderful song. First rare. We got a legendary Namari. Wow, so we already got a legendary card in our first single pack and a hollow common with Chip. I will take that. Chip on the hollow foil looks great on that. It's on the suds and the bubbles. Beautiful. Cool, so we already got a legendary in. That beast card was so menacing. And the Winnie the Pooh mat. And the art looks so cool. I'm sure we'll see it. I don't know if it's a common, uncommon. I don't, I don't know its rarity. But we'll find out. Let's see if we got... We already got two of those. All right. Oh, we've got Ray. Love Ray. Love Princess and the Frog. Nothing to hide action. Eudora. And then Cusco Wanted Llama. What did you call me, Common? Great Mouse Tech is so good. Last Cannon. We got the Cheshire Cat as our first uncommon here. Four Dozen Eggs uncommon again. Snow White. Rare Huntsman. Followed by a super rare Cogsworth. And then in the back, a hollow common Arthur. Wow. Very nice hollow foil with Arthur there. I like how the glimmer and sheen on that. So we've got some nice art so far. I do like how you get a guaranteed hollow H pack, which kind of makes sense. It's think about it, you can get a hollow of any card in the set, including legendaries. That means any kind of hollow legendary, if you can pull, is gonna be crazy, I think, hard to pull. In my experience, I haven't pulled a lot yet. Enchantress, Popsicle, that's cute from Zootopia. Painting the Roses Red, great song. Merlin Crab, that's awesome. Oh, Baloo is in this, so we got um, some Jungle Book. There's Tiana, the Diligent Waitress, Bashville. Okay, Queen of Hearts, uncommon, with Robin Hood. Super Rare, Beast, ooh, Selfless Protector. Followed by another Super Rare, the Queen, and the Hollow will be a uncommon. Wreck-It Ralph, pick a fight, so. I don't know if they have more Ralph in the set. I love Wreck-It Ralph. Thought they did a great job with both those movies. Oh, that's a hollow. Wasn't too shiny on that art, but not all of them will. So far, so good. Only single packs. When I was at the local store, someone was mentioning in their trove is where they had the best luck. That's another portion. Um... And what it seems like, it is in inconsistent when it comes to pull rates, booster boxes, you're not guaranteed nothing. It's a Gaston, Gumbo Pot, Sleepy. So I'm hoping that maybe they'll become a little more consistent in the future with Ravensburger, like Treasure Trove, or maybe do one in 20 packs. Ooh, Young Rhea, nice. Ooh, Benja. So they're going heavy on Rhea in this one, which is great. I'm glad they're doing that each set. They'll probably pick one or two. <laughs> Ooh, Corella, Uncommon. Ooh, the Gaston Rare card. That's a great one. Intellectual Powerhouse with a rare Scar. He's back in this set, followed by a hollow common of Mulan, Soldier in Training. Okay. That'd be wild to pull at least one enchant in today's opening. Two would be absolutely crazy. So let's do this. So the top left, all I need is the bottom right on those four. Eudora, the croquet mallet. So there's a lot of Alice in this one, which is great. Ooh, Fidget, again from Great Mouse Detective. It's a pretty short movie. I want to say it's like an hour and 20. Flynn Rider, the Vagabond, Air of Agrabah, Jasmine, Let the Storm Rage On. Oh, that's a really nice bell card. Uncommon Bookworm, Fairy Godmother Uncommon. Zero to Hero, wonderful song. A rare, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. With another rare, Christopher Robin. Oh, that's awesome. 
And then a hollow uncommon with Judy Hops. So we got the officer herself. I'm assuming Nick's in this set too. The hollow does look pretty good on that, the gleam. One thing that's kind of nice, if you're curious what all hollows look like, is the app, official app, does a great job. You can actually switch the variant over. You click it at the top, and it actually shows you which parts gleam on each. Other. So if you're curious, like if you want to buy them singular, and you're like, oh, let me see which ones are better looking than others, that's a great option to do so. The tracking, I wish, was a little better in the um, in the app itself. Like, I wish you can track both regular and variants, but you can only pick one. It's kind of strange. And the Enchanted are in the app, so Ravensburger, come on, fix that. Arthur, <laughs> how sneezy. Fairy Godmother, Pure Hearts. Lady Tremaine, Charge. Ooh, Binding Contract is there. Uncommon. Minnie Mouse Surfing with a kitty. Lawrence, ooh, rare Mulan, ooh, reflecting, with a super rare Cheshire Cat, that's a nice Cheshire Cat, and a holographic rare Huntsman, so that shimmer in the background definitely pops, it's not my favorite art, we've already seen it, regular uh, non-hollow version of that card, but still pretty nice, let's see, commons, in commons. And got a ray of pack arts. We still got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's just six. We're only halfway through the single packs, and there's eight in here, so that's pretty nice. Ooh, Snow White. That's a very cute one. I can't wait to see Bambi in the future. Elsa, Lady Tremaine, Verona, I was telling, I really can't wait for her. Uh, Fox and a Hound. Yeah, you know, there's so many movies. And I wonder if they'll ever go into, like, some of the live action. Or even, like, Goofy movie. Sword in the Stone. There's Pacha. Rare is going to be a weight set with Hercules. Another rare with Pete. Gotta love Pete. He's a classic. And a holographic common. Mulan. But, man, that art is nice. The foil looks real good on there. And background makes just her pop. So nothing on her armor. I wish maybe a little bit did, but... It looks really good. So far, the card quality's been good uh, from what I've seen. Again, I haven't really seen any bad, you know, centering or anything on any Lorcana. That's the one thing they've got down. They just hopefully production gets it, picks up a little bit. Happy, good natured. And keep in mind, the official release date, I think, is December 1st. Just local game stores get it first. Too many cricket, Mulan, Donald Duck again. Basil, Cannon, there's Nick, that's a nice art, in common, you can fly, there's the pick a fight, non-hollow, Maurice, rare, super rare Mickey Mouse, nice, and in a hollow, common, Peter Pan's dagger, so it has a good gleam over the whole thing, that's nice, so far still just one legendary, no Enchanted, and a good bit of Super Rare. Okay, that thing's fighting me over there. Didn't want to stay. Queen of Hearts. I wonder if she has, I'm assuming each pack art has their own like full art. I uh, like Enchanted card, Sleepy. Merlin Crab, got the Distance, that's a cool one. Ooh, Radigan. I'm gonna have to watch that movie soon. Gumbo Pie, it's been a while. Hercules in Training, love it when he's doing I love that whole sequence, Last Stand. I actually I need to see that movie again too. Mini Surfing again. That's the Uncommon. Lawrence Uncommon. With a Grand Duke rare, followed by a super rare Facilier. So Facilier is back in the set. And in the back, a hollow Uncommon Nick. So we got Judy and Nick in a hollow form and this looks really nice he pops you got the popsicle stand in the back very nice art so we got nick and judy so that's kind of cool we've seen the popsicle card i wonder if there's other uh like tommy chong's character or anything like that in, in the set okay i'll show you what that image looks like at the end Hypnotize, ooh, ka. 
There's a rabbit piglet back to back. Merlin squirrel. So there's a few Merlins in here, which is great. Mount. Storm Rage on common. Ooh, pain. So I wonder if pain and panic are in here. The caterpillar. Last stand. Rare little John. And another rare Merlin, but as a rabbit. So we've pulled quite a few of the Merlins. And a hollow common. Prince Naveen. Nice. Good there. You can almost looks like it's some whiting at the top. So that's interesting. But another hollow Naveen is a common. I'd love to get a couple more hollow, at least super rares, or rares at least. Two packs left in the single, and then we'll get to the treasure trove, uh, or Lumineers trove, which is going to be a great starting point, I think, for most folks. Okay. Ooh, the Queen Regal Monarch. That's a beautiful card. I bet this looks so good in a hollow foil. Chip, which we got in a hollow. Blue. Improvise action. Oh, the knock. Benja. So we've got a few new cards in this one. Bucky. Uncommon. Bashville Uncommon. Ooh, Corella perfectly wretched. With the Haram, Flavasham, rare. And a sheer con rare. That's, I bet that looks good in a hollow form. And a hollow Verana as the rare in the back. Not a lot of shimmer on that one. Still nice though. I mean, I will say they look good in a binder when you put them. You can tell them on a page. And if you have light hitting it, and you kind of see that reflection, it does well. So, down to that last pack in the singles. Rise of the Flood, Floodborn. So, intention is on December 1st. I'm going to try to get, I don't know if boosters will be available at that point, but there will be um, other things. Ooh, Rapunzel. So, I'm going to try to get something. I want to get at least two enchantments this time, not just the one. Ooh, Enchantress. Duke Weaselton. There we go. Jafar. <laughs> that was such a funny looking card. Queen of Hearts, that's a good art. Uncommon. Robin Hood with a super rare Tiana. That's a beautiful art there. And another super rare Grand Patty. And then a hollow Corella. So we've pulled that card normally, but it looks pretty good. It's definitely just in the background, really. So nothing, I feel like so far, at least from what I pulled, the hollows are nicer in the uh, first chapter. But let's see. One of these, my first time. Yeah, I'm not, I guess I'm not preserving the box. <laughs> let's see. Oh, that's nice. So it is that kind of really good quality, harder cardboard, literally like a physical box with a player's guide. That's pretty nice, which really, I guess, gives you some basic information and how to build a deck and a card list. Now that's fire. And see, this is what the app needs, so you can click base, foil. I don't know what the third box is for, but that's great. I wonder if this shows in the enchanted cards. They do not. See, that's what I'm talking about. So strange. They just treat them like they don't exist. They're so secret, we don't talk about them. Then these are the buildable deck boxes, so you get two. They got this awesome Cinderella and Rhea. Additional damage counters, let's see, yep. Slide that in there. So, damage counters. That was in the box. And you get eight, I repeat, eight packs. The art on this is really nice. You get that Cinderella, you get Gaston, Shere Khan, Queen of Hearts, Merlin, and the Evil Queen. That's really nice. I actually really like that. And I think that box is super nice to be able to just keep everything in. Now let's put that right there. I think that looks great. Hopefully we can pull Enchanted. So we should have eight, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yep. Perfect. Queen of Hearts. Let's see if we get any kind of guaranteed luck in one of these troves. Let's see if what we get. An owl. Logical Lecturer, Sneezy, Fairy Godmother, Tremaine, 
Ooh, Gaston the Suitor. Storm Rage on. Launch as an uncommon. Here to help, Godmother. Zero to hero uncommon. Teeth and ambitions. That's a good song. With a, ooh, super rare King Louie. Love King Louie. With a holographic common. Ooh, Enchantress. That, now see, that's stunning. That's kind of what I'm talking about. The hollow that just really pops. Let me see it a little bit better under the light. Absolutely. Let's put that back down. That's a good looking card. Beautiful. And I have been sleeving up any of the ho hollows I get. I don't know if it, let me know if you're doing that as well. I don't know if I'm being maybe just overly, should I only do legendaries or hollow rares are better? Me, I'm just like, oh, they look great. I'm gonna just make sure they're protected. It's that gumbo pot. Sleepy, with that center, there we go. Legend of the Sword and the Stone, Rhea. Is that Enchantress? Charge. Most Diabolical Scheme song. Pick a fight. Ring the bell. Ooh, Reflecting Rare. On by Huntsman Rare. And a Hollow Rare, Haram Flaversham. So that looks pretty nice. Got a good gleam on it through the back. Over, over all of it, that's a pretty nice hollow rare. Oh, you can kind of see a little bit better there. So two rares and a hollow rare. That's a good pack then. Come on, let's see if we can get a hollow legendary. I don't know, I don't think I got a single hollow legendary from the first chapter. Basil. Love that art. Hold still. Elsa gloves off. Tigger one of a kind. Hypnotize. I bet that looks good in hollow. Prince Naveen. There's Merlin as a goat. Wonder if how many Merlins are. Gaston Baritone Bully. Sardine Can. Little John Rare. Rabbit Rare. And a hollow legendary. We pulled one. And it is Bell the Hidden Archer. Look how beautiful that card is. The hollow, there we go. I was like, let me see the pattern. Maybe like a little more on her, but that is a good pattern. It is a hollow legendary. So I was just saying, hopefully we can pull one of those. That's our biggest hit, I'd say, of the day so far. I'm gonna love me some Princess Belle, so I'm excited for that one. Uh, I don't look up. I wonder what the difference from like the normal card to the hollow value-wise. So far, I haven't decided if I'm like selling or anything, trading. If I get any duplicates, I always like to trade. Piglet, Merlin as a squirrel. Well, Otho. That's such a crazy beast art. I haven't seen that Winnie the Pooh one. Ooh, Mother Gothel. An uncommon. The Prince never gives up. Uncommon. Daisy Secret. Rare Gaston. We've seen that. Another legendary of Namari. So we pulled two legendary Namaris and a hollow uncommon fairy godmother. Now that looks really nice. The whole wispy magic. I can't believe two of the non-hollow legendaries we pulled are the same. But that looks great. It's one of the better looking hollows I'd say we've seen. Okay. Trove, we've got four packs remaining. Come on, Enchanted. Just one. Doesn't matter who, but that beast I saw looks great. Mr. Wizzleton. Free Spirit Milan. Sword and Stone, Rhea. Ray. Down Duck Deep Sea Diver. Ooh, Fang Crossbow. With Nana, oh my goodness. Pinocchio, I see, and I know Pinocchio's in this set. Kronk is a rare. I forgot a lot of new cards in this one. Another legendary. And it is a Mufasa legendary. Followed by a hollow, uncommon, ring the bell. So we did get that. <laughs> I was like, he's so drunk. I can't even remember what if he, what he was actually drinking in the, in the movie or consuming. But he was always hiccuping. I remember that. God, it's been like 10 years. Queen of Hearts, down in the last three packs. 
Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Ooh, Jasmine, heir of Agrabah, is happy. I feel like it's the first time we've seen him. Jiminy, we've seen that. Donald, a couple times. Queen of Hearts. Ooh, Li Shang, so I didn't know he was in it. Should have assumed though, right? Donald Duck, the perfect gentleman, that's new. Strength of Raging Fire Rare. Super Rare Queen. I think we did pull that. And a Hollow Common, Young Rhea. So, foil on that. Pretty common with it. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we get a few of these openings. Still have two boosters of Paradox Rift Pokemon open before the Paldean Fates comes out January 26th right before my birthday. That apparently is gonna have new textures on some secret rares. I'm super excited to see what Pokemon's doing. It's always exciting when new things come out. We're down to the last two packs. We got a Popsicle. Painting the Roses Red. Merlin Blue. Ray. Benja. There's that Hey Hey art. So we got a bunch in that, but that was the first one we pulled. Rapunzel, Gifted Artist, first one we've seen of that one. That Fang Crossbow. With the Radigan's Marvelous Trap Rare and a Super Rare Arthur. That's a nice card. At the back, a Holographic Common with the Magic Broom. So the Magic Brooms are back in this. That's a pretty nice foil on that one, though. Perfect. So it brings us to our last pack, though. Hoping for a Hollow Rare or better. Of course, we would love an Enchanted. Let's see how we do. But overall, we did get a holographic legendary. That's really nice. Pretty excited to see what uh, everyone's hits are. And I'll show you again what that art looks like. But if you haven't yet, guys, leave a like. There's nothing to hide. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't, Eudora. And um, yeah, let me know what you're excited for in this set. If there's certain art you saw that you're most excited to improvise. Seen that? There's that Tia, Tiana. Ooh, Card Soldiers, first time. I think you've seen that. Same thing with that. Mouse Armor. That Bookworm Bell. Love that one. Followed by a Winnie the Pooh. Not the one that's on the the pad itself, the um, game pad. But very nice. Rare. Followed by World's Greatest Criminal Mind. Rare. So that's another one. Followed by the Final Hollow. A Common. A Popsicle. So <laughs> we finish up with Nyx. Popsicles. Very nice. Again, the hollows we pulled. Popsicle. There's that. It's Broom, Rhea, Indabel, Fairy Godmother. That's the best one. Not the, maybe not the best hollow form, but the best card being a legendary. And then Haram, Enchantress, Corella, Verana, Naveen, Nick, Peter, Mulan, Huntsman, Judy Hops. You got that Mulan, Wreck It Ralph, Arthur, Chip, and I'm stuck. So, some very nice cards in this set. I'm excited to see the rest. I might have to look through now and see what there is to pull. And but I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. And until next time, bye bye.